Three videos are placed in video track 1. Next I select the Fix Enhance button. Check mark the Compare Video Qualities in Split Preview. I then select Stabilizer. Preview in the split screen. On the left is the original, on the right the stabilized video clip. Hmm, yes, uh, the video waggled about as I breathed. I think Stabilizer has done a fantastic job here. I'm tempted to use my tripod less from now on. Here are a few snippets of the other clips Stabilizer was used on. A wow moment, certainly impressive. Video and audio denoise are available tools in Fix Enhance, but not needed here. Moving on to lighting adjustment for a clip. The geese on the riverbank clip looks in need of some fixing. Applying and displaying. The split screen immediately shows an improvement on the dark leaf colour. Yep, I'll take that improvement. Now to improve the lighting on the carved dragon and background. Checking extreme backlight could be used. I'm not sure. No, not this time. The slider control gives me a better way to alter the intensity of the lighting adjustment. Small changes can be made by clicking the plus or minus. Look beyond the Dragon Master's seat. The green grass has been toned by little slider movements. The geese, the castle, a picnic area, a beautiful river and a super dragon seat were recorded at the same location. In the river setting I'm interested in trying to pull out something from the reflections. The river video scene doesn't need any big changes, just a little lighting adjustment. The 3D video camera I'm using has a fixed position dual lens setup. Switching from a 2D preview to a 3D anaglyph will show the 3D orientation adjustment clearly. Move the horizontal slider and the orientation of the 3D focal point becomes offset. The extreme 100 position to 50 and anaglyph displays the focal change for lens alignment. Minor tweak movements can be made. A dual camera positioned for 3D and an add-on 3D lens setup would benefit using 3D orientation to correct the display where the lens's angles are slightly off. Use the sliders to adjust the horizontal and vertical orientation of two video images to fix the 3D effect on the media. 3D orientation's horizontal and vertical slider controls provide editors with the tools to tweak lenses' angles. The zero mark returns to this 3D video's correct position. Here's a 3D clip in need of both lighting and the stabilizer. The use of a whole clip fixed position adjustment may not always be the best option. Select keyframes. Keyframe the lighting adjustment offers a more flexible control. Keyframe placement. Move the motion slider control to a chosen position and insert a keyframe. We can now control the amount of lighting applied. Move the slider controls to adjust the keyframe display marker. Insert another keyframe and adjust lighting once again. Keyframe controls are available for Video denoise, audio denoise, video enhancement, 3D orientation, color adjustment, and white balance. For the moment, I'll concentrate on lighting adjustment. Now that the keyframes have been set for lighting adjustment in the 3D video, preview the sequence through. Watch out for the changes as they happen. Use multiple keyframe placement to subtly slide in a lighting adjustment. Keyframe controls, lighting adjustment, stabilizer and 3D orientation are just some of the fix and enhance tools 
in PowerDirector 10.